acoustic in, in general is a very hard instrument to compress because it's very easy for it to sound over compressed. Now, part of the reason that happens is because once you start strumming some low notes and that low frequency comes out, the compressor starts to really overreact and starts to clamp down on some of the upper mid range. So we're going to use the FG modern and we're going to, you know, especially use two cool features. One is the high pass and that's going to solve the first problem, which is some of those lower strum notes are not going to trigger too much compression. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to use the mix knob to blend a nice compression into the dry signal. So the whole point of compressing an acoustic is because we want it to stand out in the mix. You know, sometimes if you don't compress it, you're, you're overly, you know, playing with the automation too much and it can get a little bit difficult. Whereas if you get a nice compression tone, it can sit in the mix better. Uh, once again, no surprise, we're going to my favorite attack and release settings. Uh, attack slowest, released is on the fastest setting. And let's first take a listen to it with no compression. The compressor is off. Okay, so let's turn the compressor on. The first thing I'm going to do is raise the input and we will hear what is going to sound at first like some over compression, but then we're going to tailor that, that compression sound with the high pass and the mix knob. So bear with me. Here we go. So that's kind of over compressed and you can clearly hear how the low end strings are really kind of clamping down on the compression and making it sound a bit more, you know, a bit too overcooked. Now watch what happens. First thing we're going to do is put the high pass in. Take a listen now. Okay, so that already fixed problem one. Now that, that low end isn't making the compressor overreact. So now let's do the final step, which is we're gonna blend the wet and dry sound with the mix knob and get the ultimate final acoustic compressed sound. And I absolutely love that. Again, the compression is really making all the strings pop to the front. You know, again, that aggressive release really makes everything more, you know, forward sounding in a really musical way. Let's do a final AB. Let's do a comparison on roughly the same settings of the vintage versus modern. Wait till you hear the unique tones you can get. 